All right, I'm going to do another water jug test. This time it's going to be 45 ACP versus 40 Smith & Wesson. Guns used, very similar, the Glock 23, 40, 40 Smith & Wesson, and the Glock 36, 45 ACP. Rounds used, basically the same thing. Sig Sauer, V-Crown. Pretty similar energy, a 180 grain 40, a 200 grain 45. And we'll see what they do on water jugs, and I'm also going to do a wood test. See how many 2x4s they go through and what it does to them. Alright, I have a chef with yesterday helping me out. He's going to shoot a 40 caliber and a 140 caliber. going to shoot the 40 caliber and the water jugs with his Glock 23. And I'm going to be shooting the 45 on the other side with my uh, Glock 36. So, you want to go first? Yeah. Alright. We got a bullet. I'm gonna fire mine before we take a look at it. A little bit of difference on the first couple of jugs there. Let's see what we got on water. 40 calibers over here. Let's see, we got one, two. Looks like two are off the table. Jug three, four. I think it just went into number three. I think. Yeah, you're right. Jug three. This is I can already tell you this is some interesting differences here. These are fired by through four layers of denim by the way. And that's pretty mangled up. It didn't mushroom at all, huh? And I can tell you right now, looking at the forty five, the the results are completely the opposite. Jug three, forty five, I'm looking back, I have a backstop back here after six jugs. We're in, we're in this backstop. Are you? Yeah. yeah. you are, huh? All the way went through six jugs. And it, nothing. And it did not expand at all with this particular ammo. So this is what you're getting with the uh, Sig Sauer ammo. Big difference between the uh, 45 and the 40. Because the Medio is exactly the same. Four layers of denim. Water wow. jugs. And you get a difference of this. How many jugs did that go through? Yours went through three. Mine went through six full jugs and then landed in that two gallon container. The 40 went through just two and then landed in the third jug. Let me try that again. Big, big difference. That's a huge difference. Let's do that again. Okay. We need to test it another time. Now just do the wood. <laughs> yeah, let's do the wood. Right now we're going to do the wood test on 2x4, 40 cents from less than 45 ACP. Let's see what it does the wood. Oh, I missed way. Oh, you're still center. No. Alright, 45. All right, get a couple of hits on here. We'll see what we got. The 45 versus the 40. Right off the bat, what you're seeing a big old dent. I'm not sure it made it through the first one with the uh, 45. The 40, it made it through it looks like. I see it, there it is. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's in there about 
quarter of an inch into the 2x4 number 2. 45 ACP, that's in the first one. I think it's in the first one. I can't see the bullet, but it's got to be because it's just a dent in board 2. So, yeah, there it is. This thing mangled. Mangled bullet. Can't see what it's doing in 40. But it's in board 2. Definitely more penetration with that 40 caliber than the 45. Which is to be expected. But more energy, the same amount of energy in a skinnier bullet. It's going to punch through more. Pretty cool. That's what you get though, 40 versus 45. Uh, can't argue with what the results are. <laughs>